In today's video, we're going to show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to install the Tesla Model Y V2 carbon fiber body kit. This is going to be easy for you and we're going to show you everything that's involved. What's up everybody and thank you for joining me today for the installation guide on the Tesla Model Y V2 carbon fiber body kit. Now, not to get it mistaken for the V1 guide, which we do have a PDF uh, on our website under installation guides. This one will be specifically for the Tesla Model Y V2 kit. Now to kick things off, we're gonna go ahead and get started with everything that's necessary to complete the installation on the front lip V2 kit. As you can see displayed here, we have an array of tools. So starting off, we do have a Phillips head screwdriver. No power tools are necessary. However, it does make the job a tad bit easier. We have our hardware that's laid out that will be included with the product. We have our adhesion promoter and our primer and 3M tape to go ahead and get everything completed and secured to your vehicle. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our super primer, our adhesion promoter that's also included, our 3M tape, and our standard household scissors. These are going to be used to uh, put the 3M tape on the mating surfaces, as seen here, on the upper portion of the lip, and then on the corresponding side. So now that we've got the product primed, all surfaces clean, and the adhesion promoter put on the vehicle and the item, we're gonna go on to the next step of adhering the 3M tape to the product in our effort to get it applied to the car. Okay, so as you saw, we adhered the 3M tape to all of the mating surfaces on this V2 front lip. In some of that B-roll, you'll see that we do have masking tape holding the backing of the 3M tape to make it easier for us to pull the backing off once we get it on the vehicle. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We've got the Tesla Model Y up on our Benpack lift. Huge props to our partners over at Benpack. It is not necessary to put the car up on a lift. However, for today's demonstration purposes, it's going to make it a whole lot easier for viewers like you to see what we're doing. All right, so as you can see, it's very self-explanatory. On the new V2 style Davis Lee design, we've got these uh, hooks here so you can see exactly where it'll land on the vehicle. As you can see, what we were talking about earlier is the masking tape to help us pull off that backing for the 3M tape making your life a whole lot easier. So now that we've got the V2 front lip uh, secured onto the vehicle temporarily, we're gonna go ahead and pull this front center strip that we have on there just to secure it while installing the self tappers up underneath the vehicle. So those masking tape points that we had holding those tabs, you'll see if we just lightly pull it out, lifting up on the lip just ever so slightly allowing that backing to come off the 3M adhesive. And we've got ourselves a lightly secured lip, ensuring that it's not gonna fall off. And we can go ahead and move forward to underneath the car of uh, putting in the self tappers and giving it that mechanical bond to hold the lip to the car. So now that we've got our temporary bond here, we're gonna move up underneath the vehicle. As you saw in the previous uh, video, for the previous part of the video, we have this piece up under here on both corresponding sides. This is actually where we get our mechanical bond. So we have a uh, pilot hole here for the first one to get that adhered. We'll go ahead and put that screw on the uh, screw gun. Like I said, it's not necessary that you use this uh, uh, electric screw gun, but we'll just run that in right there. And then we'll follow that all the way across with some additional self tappers. So now that we've got our mechanical bond on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and bring the car down to eye level so we can see what we're doing when removing the backing to the 3M adhesive tape. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so as we saw previously on the center section, we'll go ahead and just pull down lightly on the lip to allow us some additional space to pull that backing off. There's one. And we have another one over here. 
press it firmly to the vehicle. All right, so as you can see, this beautiful V2 Adro carbon fiber front lip on this Tesla Y looks amazing. The install was super easy. You guys can tackle this at home, but we're gonna go ahead and move forward, going to the back of the car and working on the installation of the rear diffuser. So next up in this installation guide is of course the rear diffuser. This beautiful V2 kit just keeps on getting better. We have our wonderfully uh, crafted and designed 2x2 two two carbon fiber weave. This great design from Davis Lee. But as you can see, this is different from the V1. So if you are watching this video for the V1 installation, please go ahead and refer back to the PDF guide located on our website, uh, as this one is a full OEM diffuser replacement, which we'll dive into right now. So let's go over to the car and get that tour apart. All right, so now that we're on the back end or our business end now, we are getting ready for the installation of the V2 diffuser. So in popping the trunk here is our first step. We're gonna go ahead and remove each tail light or slightly loosening them, removing this weather stripping and then this interior trim piece, this carpet, we are gonna be reaching in there, of course, to remove the tail light. So that'll be the beginning phase. Of course, we're gonna be making our way to the bottom of the vehicle to completely remove that diffuser. So we'll give you little bits and pieces of that. However, uh, there are several resources online to assist you and aid you in removing that rear diffuser or bumper section. Alrighty, so you can see here that we have the bumper off of the Tesla Model Y. And that's for a few reasons. Let me go ahead and turn this around to show you as to why we removed this from the vehicle. Now, as you can see here, there are a few mechanical connections, 10 millimeter bolts going around the top of the diffuser all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and loosen those up as well as the OEM clips. So we wanna pay special attention as to not to break the clips because if you come over to the Adro carbon fiber diffuser, you can see that we utilize all of the OEM mounting points. So it is important that we uh, you know, maintain the longevity of those mounts, ensuring that we have a solid connection on the car. Awesome, so as you can see, we got that diffuser swapped out, the OE one is gone, and we have everything clipped in for the Adro V2 diffuser. It's very easy if you'll just follow those steps how you remove the OE diffuser. You'll ditch all the hardware so there are clips where those OE bolts or the fasteners went in and you'll use the supplied nut and bolt uh, to secure this to the OE bumper structure. So with that being said, let's go ahead and keep moving forward and get this baby on the car. So on to our next step. It's as easy as bringing over the entire unit yourself. Um, when you do bring it up to the car, you'll see on both left and right side, it may come in contact. Uh, in this instance, we're gonna use an assistant to help us put it on so we don't scratch the uh, PPF wrap. Uh, but if you are doing this alone, you could put some masking tape on the, uh, the body there so you don't scratch your paint or your vinyl. So without further ado, next thing you guys will see is this uh, clipped onto the vehicle. So we're on to the next step. As you can see, we've got the bumper here on the Model Y. Uh, we've got the uh, diffuser that was pre-installed. The two came in as a combo. Underneath, I do want you guys to pay special attention. This is the, uh, the factory extension off the factory diffuser, creating the flat bottom that Teslas have for, uh, for battery efficiency and range efficiency. <clears throat> so uh, we noticed that uh, when installing this here today, uh, it is easier to slide this in with the bumper, okay? So these two pieces will go in simultaneously and that's mostly due to this area here. You can muscle around this, uh, this plastic here to get it up in, uh, in the appropriate spot. Um, however, it would save you just a little bit of headache in putting in these two pieces together to slide it into here. So basically from here, you're just gonna work your way backwards uh, from taking the bumper off. So we do have a few things to do, like uh, putting the hardware in up top here, dropping in the uh, tail lights, and then finishing it up here with the trunk garnish. Uh, so those few steps, we'll come back and show you the finished product on the ground, and then it'll be on to the next. All right, 
So next up in the Tesla Model Y V2 installation guide, we have the carbon fiber trunk spoiler. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting this prepped by putting on 3M tape here on the mating surface, cleaning off the car where it's going to be mounted, and we'll get it over to the car and get her installed. next chapter of the Model Y V2 installation guide, we have these beautiful side skirts here and the pieces used to complete the installation. As you can see here, we have our self-tapping screws and of course the supplied 3M double-sided tape. For tools needed, you will need either a screw gun or a Phillips head screwdriver to finish the installation. So without further ado, we're gonna step into adhering the 3M tape here to the side skirt, cleaning off the mating surface, and getting ready to get this installed. guys so as you can see we have the tesla model y up on some race ramps for the time being of course this isn't necessary for your application if you're doing this in your driveway or at home however it does make it easier for us to illustrate the installation here uh, at our hq so we're going to go ahead and get under the car we've got our 3m tape here applied uh, it is uh, it does have the backing pulled off slightly so we go ahead and rip that off once we've got this in place with the 3m tape uh, and it's secured to the vehicle, we'll go ahead and follow that up with the hardware that's included. So without further ado, let's get under the car and get it installed. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the 3M tape off. And we're just gonna lightly press that so the 3M adhesive holds it in place. Awesome. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and follow it up with putting some self-tapping screws evenly spaced. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. Man, she looks good. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for joining us on the installation guide for the Model Y V2 Adro Carbon Fiber Kit. If you ask me, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Happy to share this with you and get them on more Tesla Model Ys around the world. If you have any questions, feel free to DM us on Adro Inc's Instagram page, or you can always email us at support at adro.com. Likewise, we do have a vast dealer network across the country and around the world. So please take a look on our website under dealers and you'll be able to find a dealer near you that can support you with the purchase or installation of this product. So now we're gonna break it away and enjoy the montage.